Welcome back ladies and gents and today's task or this weekend's task is going to be making the main bed um, if, if you've seen my previous videos you see I've got no bed there I've removed what was there beforehand and so I'm going to be making a brand new one I've decided to go for a fairly light material so this timber here is actually just a pine it's 30 30mm 30 by 18mm um, and it's probably a little bit lightweight but it's going to provide the framing for me to put a ply facing on it so it's going to be structurally sound so I bought 10 pieces and then basically that's all that um, the shop had at the time uh, probably going to need a bit more the idea will be to make the frame base and then a bed top um, with gas struts so basically I end up having one of those um, <coughs> excuse me, storage type beds but we'll see how we go, I probably need to buy some more materials but we'll do that as we so go. So following on from that uh, what I'm going to do is the base first to make sure that I've got sufficient material for it and the length of this bed and width is basically a double which is I'm going to make the frame 205 long by 140 wide I think I um, a double bed is 137 by 20. Oh, well, it actually is not 203, it's under 200, but I'm going to make it over 200 because I'm a tall bastard, so I need that. So, obviously, we're going to be buying a, um, a queen size mattress and then cutting it down to 140 to allow for the, for the length. So, anyway, what I'll do is I'll cut all the long pieces first that I need, the 205s and then the, le the off cuts because these are 2.4 meter lengths the off cuts will be then used for the for the height now I've got here 40 but actually it's going to vary a little bit it's not going to be 40 exactly but um, it's giving me enough um, to work on so I want to minimize the wastage so given as I said the 2.4s I'm going to have 205s and then the off cuts of those will be um, go towards the um, upright uh, supports because I'm just using a jigsaw, uh, the biggest issue I have at the moment is trying to get the cuts um, the right size. So what I've done is I've just used a little jig, so I've, I've made sure that I've butted the timber at the end here, clamped it down nicely, and then made sure that this edge was as straight as possible. Or else you could find yourself, if you're measuring one at a time, you could be out by a few mil. For example, I'm just about to cut the 140 wide, three pieces. So I've got that all secured in place, mark that here, but also you can see the difference in, in lengths. So obviously what I'm doing here is cutting these lengths, but for the uprights I'm doing the same. I'm putting them all together and making sure I cut them all exactly the same. Just an example of one of the faces I'm doing. So when I was screwing it in I was making sure that I used this <coughs> the square um, obviously because the timber is bowed and so on I just wanted to make sure that when I screwed it all together it was square and obviously I also held it down as I was doing that so I'm just using these um, in this particular case I'm using 50 these ones so these are uh, 50 mil long to cater for the length here and here and that should hold it. So I've got these, as I said, mentioned earlier on, the two uprights, and now I've got my 90 by 18 um, for the uprights. So that's going to effectively sit this way. It's going to provide enough strength that I hopefully wouldn't need too much more um, uh, support to the floor. Right. So as I said. I'm just positioning things on here. I haven't actually bolted anything down yet. You can see it's just loose. But what I've done is I've now cut these strips here to allow me to see if I can do this with one hand filming and showing you. So I've cut the little recesses out so that can come up like that. And it's the same here for the front, like so. And so basically um, allow me enough room in the back to put the other length, the 2.05 length, or roughly thereabouts. And I've left, I've made the hole a little bit bigger just to allow me for final adjustments, but pretty much I'm going to install the four 
of these across and that should provide me with enough strength that I don't really need to um, put any further legs on it. Just again a bit of a demo position of course you always do this before you start screwing things in but just to make sure that it's all clear and see so basically now that covers it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw a screw down here then um, because I've got this in the way what I'm going to do is put a chock and other small pieces of timber underneath it so that can be then um, provide the support that I need and I'll have to do that for all the uh, four of them but I'll, um, I'll show you what that looks like right so it's all screwed in as in these four pieces now what I've been doing I'll give you a demo here as I've been clamping them up and screwing them in you can see I've got a screw up the top here and I've also got a screw here. Now that's not the only screws I'm going to be using to support it. But for each one of those, before I actually drilled a hole, I was actually supporting the um, square like this. And I did this for every single corner. So you can't get any more uh, accurate than that. Right, so I've got the back timber piece on now. As you can see, I had enough room to lift the bed frame up onto its side, which is fantastic. So that's all done now. So the next thing I'll be doing is, as I said beforehand, giving it a bit more support. Um, not only support downwards, as per weight on the bed, but also lateral movement as well. So that'll, that'll kind of nicely tie it up all together, I think. And I'll start first with, um, as I said beforehand, putting chocks of timber here to support these frames there. Right, I think I'm going to call it a day. Been on it for a few hours. These things always take time. Well, for me anyway. But I'm happy with the result. It's super, super stable. What I've done, as I said earlier on, I've added these support brackets just underneath. But I've also added these, so I've added them to the four corners here, I've added them to the four corners over here, and a couple at the ends over there, and also um, underneath here I've added a couple. I obviously had to be careful where I was screwing it because obviously the screws coming down through here and so on, so I just had to be a little bit careful. But it is absolutely rock solid and that's and that's given that it's not even it's not even bolted to the floor yet so once it's bolted to the floor it'll even be more so well so now I'm going to continue to finish off the bed top um, so what I've done here as you can see I've decided to go with aluminium as the framing even though it's a, quite a bit more expensive I've already had these two thicker pieces so what I've done is I've gone ahead and purchased these uh, 25 by 25 um, mil RHS aluminium ch channel. So the idea is these will go in the corner there. I'll just loosely put those on. I'll have to measure the, the distances anyway. And we'll have mock-up. So as I said... 50 by 25s on the two ends that were just left over that I had and then 25 by 25 for the four runners right so finished pop riveting that what I've used is these big buggers 5 mil or rough roughly about there so th this is the same size that I used on the ceilings to hold the uh, marine grey ply up there so it's more than enough strength to hold it in place and it's great I mean there's a little bit of obviously a little bit of flex still because it's not going to be holding it um, unless of course I weld the aluminium which I can't but what will hold it in place finally is going to be the slats so I'll start off with 
putting the slats on the um, actually I think that's the on the um, from right on the edge that'll give it the the bracing and then I'll just space it all across to the other end so what I'll do is I'll just put them on just to make sure that I've got the right amount before I start screwing them in so just positioning them there we're obviously gonna um, make sure that the distances are as accurate as possible just for neatness and it's looking good. Alright so now the bed has been completed so what I've done here is screwed one per each. I've done a double on the edge I've also screwed a couple here. I'm actually thinking about screwing probably another three over there. That, that'll avoid that scenario. Um, the aluminium has been fantastic. You know it's light, strong and so effectively I think it's done done the job. Paid a little bit extra but it's fine. And in the back here we've used the um, piano hinges. So we've got a length there and a length on the other side so it's not a complete run. There's, it's two pieces and of course now we can lift that up. Now the weight has increased unfortunately substantially and all due to the um, pine slats but you know it's one of those things where um, all up I think it's actually still quite a good uh, design for the weight and it is super super strong I mean I can just put myself in just this section here and it will take my complete um, 85 plus kilos on that so and as you can see the design is that the aluminium is supported by these cross members okay so we've got the two cross members there and the cross member that runs along the back so it's all supported all across there the two down here and realistically it's it's more than enough so what I'm going to do to finish it and I won't show it on this video but I'm actually going to um, apply decking oil on the pine and on the rest of it just so that it doesn't absorb moisture and the front here I'll probably end up painting that white I'm not sure yet I'll talk to the other half and see what she thinks but I'm um, super wrapped and what I've done here as well in the back you see that there's probably about uh, two and a half to three inches gap and the reason for that is obviously when I lift this bed up the, the um, foam mattress is actually going to get squashed a little bit on that corner but um, but still allowing for enough room there so whether or not it needs additional bracing I'll see how I go um, but uh, so far it um, seems to be very very I mean if I try to shake it it's a little bit of lateral movement but I'll um, I was thinking in the corners where that runner is, this main runner here, I can put a um, a uh, bracket there on that corner to support. So I might end up doing that anyway. So that's it. This is my um, my custom bed, storage bed I should say. Um, yes, it needs a little bit of a tidy up in terms of painting and so on. I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to put a fascia on here on here like a piece of timber probably about a hundred tall that runs along here that'll tuck the foam mattress in however again when lifting the bed the foam mattress will want to move forward and that um, face plate will actually stop it and probably cause more, more um, resistance to the lift so I'm not sure it's one of these things where I'll, I'll just um, play it by a year over the few next few months and um, tweak it here and there but, um, but I'm happy with the results so anyway thanks for watching and if you have any questions by all means shoot me a comment happy to answer and I do read all my comments so um, yeah thanks for watching